Hello everybody! I'm about to do a 5 minute session for Johannes and we're gonna just keep working on his energy field. So if you're interested in exploring all the other sessions I've been doing with him, please check out the link in the description, okay? And I'll start from the beginning of all the sessions. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna work on clearing the throat block that feels stronger the more I dive into my heart, is what Johannes says. Clear the possible psychic attack from today at the heart and below. Now, after the session yesterday, I finally feel at peace. It is awesome, but I would like to experience happiness and even joyfulness too. Maybe you can do something about that. <laughs> cool. I am so excited to help you again. All right, let's see Let's see what we can discover here. So one thing I want, want to say right off the bat, when you're receiving energy work and you feel there's vulnerabilities kind of ha happening, like you're saying that it feels like a possible psychic attack event, you're releasing some serious stuff. So it can come up to the surface and it can feel like it is a present event taking place, but really it's an echo of old stuff. And so you just got to be patient with it and let it release from your spiritual atmosphere. So that's why when we have ascension energy symptoms, sometimes we have really bad days during the process of human ascension for those people who are sensitive enough to experience it. The bad days are actually what I find oftentimes is all the old energy that the love is getting into those cracks and crevices and bringing it out. So we're getting energetic healing every single day from the stars and the planet and everything. And we're getting it a lot right now. That's what is jump-starting this evolution in, for humanity and human ascension. So when it that light comes in, it goes deep inside of us and it pull, pushes out all the splinters and the wounds and the ouches from so many lives and our collective and everything. And so when it gets to the surface, we feel like, what happened? You know, I feel horrible. When is this ever going to end? And it could last a month. It could last a week. It could last a day. But it's actually coming out. Okay? It's like the splinter is coming out. So you just have to see it in this way and know that the light is totally getting in there. It's totally cleaning out your energy field. But it can be a painful process and the process of healing. That's what we call the Hertz reaction. So the healing is making a huge difference, but it's releasing, it's clearing out the wound. So it's like, um, I don't know, putting alcohol on a wound. Nobody likes that, but it's actually healing it. It's cleaning it. <laughs> so healing can hurt sometimes, but it's doing a good job. Okay. All right. So I just wanted to mention that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get connected here. So talking about the throat, wanting to feel joyfulness, happiness, um, possible psychic attack, heart downward. Okay, let's see what we can discover here. Okay. okay. Very exhausted. I feel a bit of a depression, actually. I feel tired, I feel kind of drained. And I'm at, I mean, I'm standing up, but I don't have the, the, the feet. I don't have the strength in my legs to really stand up. However, I'm somehow managing to stand up. I feel like my bone structure is really distorted and strange. It's almost like the spine. Um, I mean, it goes, it, it's, it's, the, there's curvature to the spine, but this is like bowed in, in a very weird way. And the bones are just like the, the bone structure just looks way out of balance, out of whack. And there's lots of golden dust flecks uh, moving around here, which seems to be pretty, but it's more like sawdust uh, than anything. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure that this these golden flecks are actually uh, doing the job of uh, healing, uh, more so than just kind of kicking up the dust. And then they happen to look like golden flecks. All right. Okay, you know, this is pretty cool, Johannes, but all these sessions I've been doing, I know they're short, but they've been really powerful because where we began with that imprisonment, these sessions have been breaking that energy structure down a bit, big time, big time. 
And that is also from the the work you're doing by choosing to um, get through this. I mean, it's your own intention and desire to get past this that's also fueling all of this breakdown. So it's you're doing a really great job. And it's extremely weak. I mean, this energy, this imprisonment energy is getting very weak and that's a good thing. That could also be why you're, I mean, why I'm feeling kind of a depression and kind of a exhaustion in the legs, but I'm still standing because this is all breaking down and it, it, it takes a lot of strength and a lot of might to, to hold up a structure of self-imprisonment that you believe in. And some, we do this to ourselves all the time. Why, nobody wants to self-imprison. So why in the world are so many of us self-imprisoned? <laughs> you know, but um, we uphold the structure and we keep doing the same routine and we think it should be working and it's not working. And now we're still stuck and nothing ever changes. But we don't realize that we have created this energy structure and how do we dissolve it, you know? Well, you're getting out of it. You're you're getting out of it, all right? Because this is very weak and the exhaustion is coming from your body it's just finally not having to to hold on so tightly to keeping the structure alive. Like, with all of my might, I will make sure the imprisonment structure remains. And now as it's dissolving, the body and the energy field is like, oh, what? I don't have to uphold the structure. Oh, I'm going to bed. You know, I'm going to collapse. I'm done. I'm done for the day. <laughs> so it wants to go into a rest state. All right. And I don't feel that the joy and the happiness isn't there. It's just your energy field needs a rest state. It needs, it needs to heal. So you can't run a marathon and then another marathon and then another marathon and then another blah, 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 every single day for the rest of your life. Ah! You're going to go insane. You got to let your body rest. The body has to rest. Energy work works the body. People don't realize that, but if you get too much energy work, you can actually hurt yourself. So this, this is a sign here that you need to rest, all right? Because the love is ready to be felt and experienced, but your body is exhausted because we've conquered so much. We've actually broken down a lot. This is cool. This is really cool. So I can feel the love and the joy in here, but I also can see what is this waveringness is in its exhaustion and your body needs rest. So I'm just going to be very gentle here. I'm going to literally slow your mind down. I'm still not to your throat yet for a reason. I, I mean, this is, I need to do this first. So I'm just going to slow your mental frequencies on down. <sighs> I'm going to t show your mental frequencies that you don't have to work so hard. You can relax here. And I'm going to bring your bone structure back to its normal setting. And the golden flakes, you just, I mean, it's like a man's last dying words. But at the golden flakes, but the this, but the that. No, no. The golden flakes, no. <laughs> it's okay. Just go to sleep. The rebirth is going to be amazing. And it's all going to make sense. <laughs> so your your whole body is just still clinging and then releasing at the same time. And it just wants the golden flakes to be meaningful. No, that they, they're not actually real. They're just an illusion. They're not, they're pretty, but they're not actually helping. Mm. it's all dissolving it's all sloughing off like a big pile of mud it's all sloughing off lots of big pile of mud energy mud energy is just sloughing off uh imprisonment energy is super rubbery and doesn't have a lot of hold i mean there's still echoes of that but it's just very much so um, losing strength and power okay but i also see you in here extremely exhausted and you need to rest your body I mean you need to take it easy you're pushing yourself too hard and you're not aware of it because you 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 just think that you have to keep pushing yourself so hard you don't that's still working in the mind you have to get into the heart here and actually get tuned into your body because your body is your power 
I mean, our body is our power too. Because we need, if we don't have the power of our body, we aren't walking anywhere. We aren't talking to anybody. We aren't blinking today. We're doing literally nothing as a human being. Without body power, what's the purpose of being here? We'll just lay in a bed as a vegetable. So you have to have body power too to accomplish what you want, your spiritual goals, okay? And your body needs to chill. It needs to rest, okay? Big time, I can tell. Sadness, sadness, sadness is happening here. You're venting a lot of sadness, which is coming from the emotional gut and the heart, which is good because we want to get those energies out. They really help. Bone structure is starting to look more uh, balanced here, okay? And I'm putting you to rest, okay? <laughs> Gently to rest. And you're turning into a little baby. Because you're being reborn through energy work. It's awesome. There you are, just putting you to rest. But I'm putting you in a place full of other babies. Baby energy, which is delightful and happy. And Mother Mary energy, which is phenomenal. You can't... Mother Mary energy is... It shocks me how freaking amazingly... I, it, like, Mother Mary energy is just... It's the most beautiful love. I mean, it, I, how does it get more beautiful than that? You can't, couldn't possibly imagine it ever more beautiful than that. Her love is just so beautiful. So you're in the realm of babies and Mother Mary energy, which is simplicity, childlike experiences, allowing you to be assisted by the energy realm, by the spirits, by the masters, by the lovers of your soul, okay? Letting your body rest. Feeling the rebirth of your energy field. We've conquered a lot, okay? Okay. This is all I can do for you. Thank you so much for exploring this session. <sighs> I'm just, I'm still disconnecting from your energy field. <sighs> Still going out, backing out. I mean, I, I, I went in really deep. I didn't realize how deep I went. I'm still backing out and just separating here. It's just hard to speak so I can actually say goodbye when I'm still disconnecting from your energy field. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Johannes, for another beautiful session and opportunity to work with your soul. And thank you for sharing. Because I know a lot of people are, are fascinated by your experience and are learning a lot about the spirit realm and, and may be able to relate to what you're going through within themselves. And there may be some, um, some tips in here that will help literally anybody watching the video. So thank you. And for those of you watching, if you're interested in exploring a session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Hope you all have a great day.